So today we're doing technically a full upper body workout and this should be interesting. So I'm happy that I'm taking you guys along with me and we'll uh, see how we feel after. But I think it's gonna feel good and I'm glad from the last video me explaining um, why we're just splitting my training and and you guys you guys got it. So I was like, you know, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Because I know some people can be very a stickler or whatever with like how people program their stuff and at the end of the day it's like everyone has different goals and also seeing how your body recovers and stuff and in my thought process with it as well as like you know hitting as many first sets with your that muscle group is just going to be so much like just benefit you so much more and so us technically doing the same amount of volume in the week but separate, I wanna, I wanna test that out. And I, I, think, I think I'm gonna like it, you know? And I think a lot of you guys are saying, no, oh, with the, us doing the cut and stuff, like that might even feel nicer because, you know, the more sets you do within that, like let's training session, you are gonna feel more fatigued towards, you know, the end or whatever, that third set, that fourth set. So when you're cutting, like it's just, I mean, even if you're not cutting, um, you're just gonna feel fatigued. And, and that's just how it is. And that's fine because like we said, we're just gonna really push ourselves each set. You don't wanna be like, oh, let me save my energy. Cause I know I have like, you know, two other exercises and eight more sets, you know, like all that stuff. Like you wanna push your, yourself. So it also, that's why I feel like it also helps me mentally knowing, okay, we have this much and then we're done. So yeah let's let's push ourselves let's make sure we're really working hard and giving it our all so lower body was good now we're gonna see how upper body feels because we're gonna hit shoulders chest back uh triceps biceps and i think that's about that's about it um so i'm excited for that but also <laughs> this morning i literally dropped a whole pound and honestly, that, that surprised me because how far we are in the cut to drop a whole pound. I was like, whoa, but it was, I did feel like when I woke up, I was like, you know, cause it's like, I don't know, honestly, it was probably the cramps. I'm having bad cramps. Cause I was like, why's my stomach hurt? <laughs> so I didn't know if it was like me feeling hungry. Cause I actually don't wake up hungry, which is weird. Cause I've done one cut before when I barely started lifting. And I, I think I want to say I did wake up like hungry, um, but I actually don't wake up hungry. So I don't, I, I mean, I'm honestly surprised that I don't. Um, so anyways, my stomach was feeling a certain way, but then I'm like, oh, I think it's just cramps and you know, it's going to be that time of the month soon. So that's what that was. But I, I thought I was like, oh, that's weird. I feel really like, like something's going on. <laughs> but I, you know, when I weighed myself, I was like, wow, a whole pound. So we weigh 145, so we've lost 35 pounds altogether. And I know you guys are curious, like, okay, so when, how much longer is the cut gonna keep going on? And I guess, I guess I'm saying like, I'm using the scale as a tool and I'm going more off of like, like visually of how I'm looking. And I know people that have competed, you, you kind of can see, you know, cause I know, I know we're a little more hard on ourselves. I know people just look at someone and they're like, what, you really look good, you know? But when you have that that eye for like, oh yeah, they're, they're you know, I'm, like I said, being extra hard on ourselves. Um, they're like, yeah, you're carrying a little fat here. That should be a little more, more, more muscles, more cuts, you know? And so going more for a look, but you know, just to give, I guess, a gauging point, I feel like, I feel like we might go on for another two months, honestly. And I am absolutely okay with that because like I said, this cut has been very smooth and I want to take advantage of that for what is going on right now. Cause I don't want to keep having that mindset, pushing things back, you know, like, Oh, I'll, I'll get to that, you know, next year, or I'll do it two years from now or whatever. It's like, it's going so well right now. I just want to, focus on right now like what's going on right now what con what control do I have right now and, and that is like you know continuing the cut and the training is going really good and I don't know just kind of living in the now instead of because I because I was kind of uh mentally feeling like oh well 
I know I kind of messed up with me doing my bulk because I, I just gained too much weight. And, you know, just focusing on that and kind of feeling really, I don't know, I don't even know what the word is. Because uh, I wouldn't, disappointed, of being, but not really, just more like, okay, I'll just do it better next time, you know, but like being kind of hard on myself and realize like, you know, you're never going to do everything exactly perfectly and everything's not going to like align and, and stuff. All you can do is what do you have control over right now? You know, and, and right now, yeah, like we're doing good with the cut. Let's just keep going. Yes. Um, it took longer than I would have liked because we gained so much weight during the bulk, but you know, it, that's what happened and that's okay. And I don't want to just be like, okay, I'll just like, kind of like almost like, I'm mean, not give up, but just kind of like, oh, well we messed up. So I guess we won't get there until next time or whatever, you know? And I think that's when you realize when you, I guess, fail or mess up or whatever you want to call it. And you understand that that isn't the all be all like, you know, you can still figure something out. You can still, you know, see what you have to work with. And, and that's what we're doing. We're like, okay, what do we have to work with? And technically, you know, there's more reasons, or at least for me, my goals, <laughs> that's the thing for my goals and my um, way of thinking about it. I'm like, there's only it's like, yeah, let's just continue the cut. And, um, but you guys already know um, the whole mindset of that, like a few videos ago and stuff. And, and that's why I'm just, uh, yeah, just uh, in shock of uh, how the body's been responding and, and happy with that. So let's go ahead, get inside the gym. The parking lot looks pretty empty, so I'm kind of happy. That means the inside should feel kind of, you know, empty. But um We'll see what we start with first. And yeah, I'll just talk to you guys inside. Okay, this is our first set. We're doing flat bench with the machine. And we're doing, you know, two working sets. So thought I'd just record both, why not? I uh, feel like it's good to see the first and the sec second working set. Because this workout shouldn't take too crazy long, you know? Okay. Let's go ahead. Okay, one more set, and then we'll move on to either flies or overhead. We'll see what's open. Just because I like using the Smith machine for overhead, if it's open, I'm gonna let me head over there. So. I'll bet I'll see you guys for the next set for this one. Found a fun song. So, okay, so second set. Oh, feeling good. As you guys can see, I really like emphasize like my whole like setup, getting stable and secure and uh, making sure you know, because your your back's gonna be activated and secure when you're doing chest. Because I guess way you're not gonna just get on the bench here and just be like this. Do you see how like I'm just like? Because like once you push the weight, you're ready. You know, you're ready there. It's gonna it's gonna push you back. So we're we're eh, we're already setting ourselves up for that. And uh, we're doing the usual weight. Um, so it's a plate and let's see, 
The plate in 25, um, when we were bulking, it was two plates, but probably, I think we did it for like five reps, but this is, we're doing at least for eight and they, and they feel good. So let's go ahead and do the second set. Mm. I think we uh, did for nine reps, but <laughs> it's funny. Whenever I work out with someone, and uh, I'm usually just really bad at counting, <laughs> or at least you know I'm always one or one off or whatever. So. It looks like the Smith machine is opening up. We're probably just going to and head over there. If it's not going to be taken by the time I walk over there. Okay, this machine needs some WD-40. I actually don't know if that's what it is. Someone told me that's what it's called. So I was like, wait, what was that? Because I said this, uh, it needs to be greased up. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty rough, you know, and, uh, but it is, it is what it is. So we have lowered the weight for this because it's just, Trust with uh it's not as smooth and also i was realizing when i was unracking for my uh flat bench i actually had uh 10 pounds on the other side i guess i forgot to add the other 10 i don't know what i was doing but luckily with that kind of machine it won't like throw you off you know if you have totally opposite weight on but anyways i Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Is this is actually the second set? I decided to do my first set with this weight because how tough it was to like go up and down with how um, I don't know. It just needs to be greased. So let's do the last set for these. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I mean, so far, oh, my arms, it's going pretty smoothly. We have a set of flies. So let's go ahead and find a fly machine. And then, geez, and then we just have arms. Honestly, this is going way faster. And it's just like, I feel like I'm giving my all throughout the whole workout. But um, anyways, let's, let's just keep going. Okay, let's do our set for this. And it's funny, I almost feel like I have to look at my phone to see what's next because after this, we have uh, lat pull downs. I'm all thinking it's a chest and shoulder day. So lat pull downs after this and then arms. Yeah, there we go. Oh. 
Okay. Well, that pulled down. <laughs> oh. but that was a good set for her chest and my shoulders. And as you guys could tell, we're doing, you know, the overhead press today. And then the next upper day, we'll do side laterals. And then for back, we're doing that pull downs. And then the next one, we'll do rows. So, you know, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, let's go and do some lats. Okay, so lat pull downs on my favorite cable machine because I just like how this handle feels compared to the other ones. Oh, okay. This is our second working set. I did the first already. Felt good. And uh, yeah, doing the second. I'm just like, like, man, we're already almost done. And it mentally already feels like, like, I don't know, that if we're not, <laughs> that we still have more to do. But we, after this, we just have uh, triceps and biceps. So let's go ahead and do our set. Okay. So I uh, did eight reps and yeah, like I want to stop when I'm not able to do the full range anymore. So that eight was already, you know, wasn't as uh, low as the other ones, but these are technically only and last for back. So that's okay. Uh, you know, it does take you a while to gauge like, oh, I have that one more rep in me. And, and sometimes it's, it's still hard for me to gauge, honestly. So that's why sometimes I do one more rep that, oh, probably couldn't have done it. Like I probably should have. Cause when you do those kinds, sometimes you do like for the bigger lifts risk, you know, any type of injury that may happen. But, um, I guess I'm saying like, it's just the more you lift, the more better you are at gauging. But, you know, that's not for everybody. So even for me, I'm like, like, I can kind of tell it's more, my, I can tell more for my upper technically than my lower. But anyways, let's uh, go ahead and do some seated bicep curls. Okay, I wanted to show you guys my friend's calves. <laughs> okay, and he actually never trains them. <laughs> do that one again. What is this? Okay, say hi, Nathan. <laughs> They're training legs, but yeah, they don't, he doesn't hit calves, actually. I, I really don't. Okay, so we're doing triceps now, and then we'll do some biceps. So, yeah, I just wanted to finish off, actually, with biceps. So this is also our last set for triceps. I don't know, 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 I don't know,
Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm picking out my song. Uh, the internet's not really working, but this is our last set. So, want to finish strong? Let me get something going. Come on, phone. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Oh, how is it feeling good? I don't know how the lighting is here, but I have a little mirror, so. Okay, so we actually do have some posing, so let's go ahead and do that in the natural lighting. Okay, it's gonna be funny doing all the upper body poses, so I'm not used to that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We'll do some. I'm like, what are they even called? So. See the chest muscles. Let's do this one, the last spread. <laughs> the one that I'm the worst at. Okay. Do front double bicep. So with this one, I need to remember to even flex my forearms when we do that. Just all those little, the little things, you know. Okay, let's do some back poses. That one felt good, but I, I've been noticing I've been going too much for it. So I don't, I don't know. Hopefully it looked good. It felt good, but, um, oh yeah, this one. Hold on. I'm too used to doing it the wrong way. <laughs> so. <sighs> yeah, I need some, some posing lessons. So, um, hmm. I mean, did we cover all of the upper body poses? I, I mean, I want to say that we, we did. Oh, hold on. No, forgot this one. Huh.
I don't know. Feels off to me. Feels off. Uh, we'll do this one too. Okay. I think that's all of them. So I'll go ahead and do my cardio and then I'll talk to you guys in the car. I was uh, having a little bit of uh, body dysmorphia when we were posing because I'm like, where are my biceps? My arms look so small. And I think I got too used to uh, posing in uh, the under lighting and it makes my arms look bigger, like mentally to me. And I'm just like, ooh, yeah, cool. And uh, yeah, I was just like in the natural lighting. I'm like, geez, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I'm like, my arms look really small, but uh that's a uh, that's one thing that I definitely wanted to uh, pay attention to because to be honest the, the two things that I feel like are my weakest are the two muscle groups I really neglected throughout my journey with lifting weights and that's calves and arms so I'm not surprised but bummed because I really love how you know, when they're really developed, how that, the, those muscle, well, I mean, like all the muscles, when they're really developed, they just look so good. I mean, I honestly don't know where my mind was back then. Like, why was I neglecting those muscles? And I don't know. I mean, I honestly can't say why, but uh, yeah. And, and also I do hold more fat there. So I feel like when we do get leaner, I'll be able, be able to see something, even in natural lighting. <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice to look like a certain way without even having a good pump or having the best lighting. It's, it's really cool. And I've never had that. I've never, you know, no one's ever like said, oh, wow, do you, uh, do you lift or something? Like, you know, like my physique doesn't look like that. I either have to be in good lighting or a good pump maybe. I don't know. So that's uh that's something that will come eventually and uh it it was uh funny because it i don't know why but it just made me kind of like remember back when i did get inspired to start lifting and that was at one of my brother's bodybuilding shows because he competed and so did my little sister and when the girls came out it was for figure i was like I was in shock because I guess in a way I've never seen that be possible. Like I've never seen like a girl with that much muscle. And it was, it was like, I was like, wow, like that's just amazing, you know? And I, ever since then, like when I went to that and I was just like, I was like, I, w I want to uh, reach that or I want to obtain some, you know, physique that, you know, looks that way. And, I'm, and I remember going to my brother saying like, I want to start lifting weights. Like I, I, yeah, like it honestly just seeing that, like I, I was blown away, you know, I was inspired. I, I just have ne never seen that before and, and stuff. And I'm glad that I did go and, and stuff. Cause I mean, I want to say back then, I mean, to be honest, I, um, you know, when I didn't lift and everything, because I remember I told you guys, my brother started at first, like he started to get into bodybuilding. And then my little sister was actually inspired and started to get into it. Um, I don't know. I just always was like, wow, that's really cool. But, you know, I don't think I was really, I didn't really understand it. I really didn't understand. Because to me, like I told you guys, it just seemed like, wow, like that seems like a lot of work. Like, wow, like, you know, because I would see how they would go to the gym consistently. And that's why you guys were asking me, like, oh, how do you do that? I mean, hey, I was with you. I'm just like, I would ask like them, like I, or actually I wouldn't even ask them because I don't even think I would be able to comprehend it. Because I was just like, I don't know how they do it, you know? And so I, I actually wasn't like crazy, um supportive I guess you can say it's more just like okay cool like cool you're you're into something you're really passionate about it yeah and then you know when he did his show and I went like I don't know why like it was just like wow like I see why you're passionate about this and honestly like that just going to that like changed everything and, and I don't know it just I guess because 
I had a glimpse of like what's possible, you know? And, and to me, like, I guess I would tell myself like, oh, it wouldn't be or something, you know? Cause it was a natural bodybuilding show. Um, and you know, we're all like natural and stuff. And so that's why it is, it is hard to like understand, oh, what is possible when a lot of the times on social media, you don't know who's natural and not. And, and you know, you can't really dwell on it because <laughs> I know people really want to be like, oh, are they natural or whatever? And so it's like, all you can do is like, well, how amazing can I make my physique? You know, and when I went to the natural bodybuilding show and saw like, wow, like the, like the body can look like that. Like it was, I would not, I would never forget it. It was beautiful. And, and that's why to me, like, I totally get it when people probably don't understand because I was there and I totally get it when people say, I don't know how other people can do that. I don't know how that's possible. Like, I totally get it. Like, I feel like until you know, like your why of why you want to do something or, you know, how you get inspired and it starts something, you know, it's like something you feel like, oh, like you want to do and no one can really give you that, you know, no one can tell you oh, you should do this, you should do that. Like, that's something that it's gonna be in you. And until that moment comes, then that's why I'm telling you guys, until that moment comes and you know that there's something that you want, like the possibilities of what you're capable are endless. Like it's it's honestly, you, you don't even know, you don't, it can't be, like you don't even understand it, <laughs> you know? And, and I don't know, I just, I'm just, uh, I was just thinking about that and, and stuff just because what, like just muscle, muscle and everything like to me is, it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, when you see it in a certain way and it's optimal, you know, prime, like peak, you know, because they, they really, you know, it, it's a show. Like you're, you're trying to get to the, the best quality <laughs> of your physique that can ever get you know, with the best lighting, with um, a tan, with like, it's, it's just everything. And it's just so beautiful. And so that's why I guess in my head, I was just like, yeah, I love going into the best lighting and doing that because at the end of the day, it is also art. It's beautiful. But you know, it's not always going to be that way. You know, we're going to be sometimes not in the best lighting and all that stuff. But uh, I guess I say it's good to see both, you know, and acknowledge that both exist and all that stuff. But um, I'll go ahead and end it there and uh, I will see you guys for lower body. And that one's going to be a little different. So uh, you'll see. So, okay. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.